Welcome to another, I guess, theory video. So yesterday, uh, if you haven't watched it yet, I recommend you watch Carl's Tales of the SMP, The Haunted Mansion, I think it was called. Um, if you haven't watched it yet, that's fine uh, for this video because I'll, I'll be giving a pretty extensive summary of what happened. But I guess after the video, make sure you do uh, because it's a pretty good watch. It is two hours long, again, on times two, that's only one hour long, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, but before you do that, and like, I guess, click off the page to watch that, I guess, I'll make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like um, to get notified whenever new theories and stuff comes out. It's the best way to support the channel. It takes literally a click in like half a second. It's the best way to support the channel and I really appreciate it. Anyway, let's move on. So this Tales episode was set in a haunted mansion in i guess the relatively near future so uh, i don't know if it was explicitly mentioned when it was but there was connor reed's pants there and there was also glatt there so that makes it clear that it wasn't in the past and because connor reed's pants is i assume human uh it's probably within 100 or so years of the dream smb i mean glatt's kind of a ghost so you can't really use him as a reasonable time metric but connor's not so I say it's within a hundred years of the current dream SMP. So Glatz finally managed to fulfill his lifelong dream of becoming a corrupt property owner and he rents out for free a one million dollar a night Airbnb mansion thingy. Turns out, uh, I mean as evidenced by the title of, of the thing, it is a haunted mansion. And so there in the haunted mansion, Connor gets abducted by Schlatt. And then they have to get like these three nether stars to free him. But as they continue collecting nether stars, more of them get abducted by Schlatt. And yeah, unfortunately Techno was one of the first one to be abducted. So that was pretty sad for uh, for Techno fans across the world. But I guess it's all right. He's been a main character in like the past two. Or it's kind of main character. I guess Sheriff Johnson or something wasn't exactly like main character fuel, but it is what it is i got blocked by the block there but yeah so by the end of it when they finally get access to the abduction chamber it turns out that like it was actually great like being abducted was probably the best thing to do in the mansion because there you had access to like showers like food and just unlimited just unsustainable quantities of alcohol unbelievable amounts of booze that they were that they were taking there so I mean, people like Gump, which was one of the primary characters in the story, finally finally took the first shower in years. They had like food and cake and stuff. It was it was the greatest. So, I mean, Carl now slightly upset at the at the situation, now knowing that he's wasted all this time, decides that it's time to leave. Which I mean, okay, that's probably the dumbest thing to do in that situation. You finally like went through like all the major challenges of this mansion. You go through all these struggles. You watch as like. Your friends get abducted and stuff and then you finally realize that like you can join them and enjoy all the pleasures that actually suit the price of a one million dollar mansion but instead he just chooses to sort of leave which not sure i really un understand the decision but uh, okay so then he, he then travels to the in-between where he repeatedly finds books saying like oh it's not a place to provoke harm the, the whole thing complete with like spelling errors and everything and then, yeah, he shouldn't stray from the path and like, oh, leaving the path is is, is bad and all, all this stuff. He also finds like mysterious books around that tell him to like go through another portal and, and like he should try to find a way to leave the in-between and like to go under the tree and stuff to find more books. So this turn of events understandably slightly shocks the audience. Although, I mean, considering it's a place that constantly tells you that it's not a place to provoke harm. I mean, I feel like that's an indication that it kind of is a place to provoke harm, but I mean, that's just hindsight talking. That That's me, like, knowing what's going to happen and then reanalyzing the situation. But anyway... Where do I go? Here. So that causes, I guess, a bunch of people to start to wonder, like, yo, why why is it... Why 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 is it bad, you know? It's... it's Yeah. So, I guess th this is this is my whole theory. Early on, when the in-between in was introduced, uh, Carl started to realize like he was losing himself like losing his identity losing his memory and stuff Which is like what started the whole library thing in the first place Yeah, so he's also stopped dying at the end of the in-between so if we remember the lost city of Mizu and the masquerade uh, He stopped dying 
since then. Like in the Wild West, he didn't die. And in the most recent one, he didn't die. He just kind of left. So, and ever since that happened, more and more clones have been showing up in the in-between, like running around like chickens without their heads and stuff. So my theory is that since he's not dying anymore, that leaves parts of him in different timelines and the different parts of him in different timelines are still able to time travel and they will end up in the in-between and since they're also time traveling that's making Carl lose himself more and more and each of those parts are like kind of messing with the I guess the main Carl I guess well technically they're all main Carl but, but like main Carl is in the Carl that we're watching so I guess that leads into my next point so why exactly would the castle be a problem? So the main instance of color in, in the White Castle is the Wither Roses. The Wither Roses are like the main source of contrast. Like there's water and there's like flowers and stuff. But the Wither Roses are like the only like bit of contrast in the, in the whole area. But yeah, so I mean, Wither Roses, they're called Wither Roses. They're symbolic of death and stuff. So I, I assume that that symbolism is meant to show that the in-between is like sapping, sapping away at Carl, which is obviously not exactly a ideal. So the more he goes to the in-between, the more he's like sort of withered. But there's also this other part in the most recent episode about someone watching him, someone that I'm just going to refer to as it because that's how they were referred to in the episode itself. It's probably the person that's like watching him and stuff in the in-between and like writing all the books for him. But there's also a second, I don't want to call it it, but like a second like entity there that is trying to protect Carl, or I'd assume trying to protect Carl. You can't really tell which side is the good side at this point, but it's probably trying to protect Carl. They're telling him to go to the nether portal. They're telling him about like the thing in the trees and stuff. And they're, they're like a counteracting force to it. The theory is that like manipulation has been a large theme throughout the Dream SMP. I mean, if you, if you just look at it, the recent stuff with with dream and tommy obviously there's like a level of manipulation there or i guess not recently with with the stuff with tommy but in general manipulation has been a large three theme in the dream smp and i feel like the in between is no different the guy is trying to manipulate him into like constantly traveling through time but we know from past experiences that constantly traveling through time is like kind of dangerous and like you you'll lose yourself more and more the more you do it so i think the, this it guy is trying to stop Carl from doing something by continuously degrading him in the in the in-between. I, I, I don't necessarily know what they're trying to stop him from doing, but they're probably trying to... I mean, I guess they're probably trying to trap him in the in-between. Like, I feel like eventually you're you're not going to have, like, the, the attrition remaining to continue time, time traveling. That's why so many of them are just remaining in, in the in-between. So there's a major hole in this theory. And it's that, like, they're telling him to put the books in the library. So it's kind of recording all the stuff and he, he's not actually being stopped from sharing the stories. I guess it might be when the other people read the books, they become intrigued by the story, potentially visit the in-between, and become victims of the in-between. And, I mean, the panic from the other guy, like, the, the guy that's telling him to go under the tree and stuff, make it pretty clear that this isn't the first time that this has happened in the past. Ignore the people running by me, by the way. So if it's not the first past or the first time, there's probably other people that have the ability to time travel and maybe recording the, the stuff in the history is like how people learn how to do the time travel and visit the in-between and stuff. That's like the only, I guess, guess that I have to answer that, but I'm honestly not too sure about that. But anyway, so that was another video. If you like, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I'll see you all next time.